I actually uh, had to start the violin when I was very uh, young, five years old. And uh, in my house, the arts were very, very present. My mother is a professional painter. There's lots of music in, in my house, uh, lots of violin. Uh, I was uh, listening to Yehudi Menuhin. I think the things went very well from the start because I was already uh, starting to play a few concerts, professional, well, professional concerts, let's say, you know, where I would appear as a, as a young uh, virtuoso and so on at nine, ten years old. So, I mean, it, it started very young. Tonight, Fire and Blood, it's, a, it's really a, some, a piece that you have to put yourself completely naked in front of, a, of an audience. It's a piece that talks about pain, violence, love, passion, everything. To have an audience listening to what one has to say is, is a blessing in a way and it's also a very big responsibility. So uh, I take this uh, very seriously and it's very important to me. Carlos Miguel Prieto is a fantastic person. He's a great, wonderful and top conductor. Uh, in, uh, in this piece you have the Latino uh, part that is very, very present. Second movement is about Frida Kahlo, it's Rivera, that uh, the Diego Rivera, the painter, um, that did some, some paintings in uh, Detroit. And these paintings were what inspired Michael Doherty, the composer, for these pieces. But the composer also thought of the wife of Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo, and all her sufferings while, um, while Diego Rivera was actually painting those murals in Detroit. So it's a big story about uh, man versus the machine, love, pain, uh, North America, Latin world. It's, it's very mixed up and this actually, I wouldn't say the, the mixing up is, relates to me, but definitely this, this uh, the togetherness of the Latino culture and the North American, it's exactly what I am. So I really feel uh, very strongly about this music. Well, all artists are special. Uh, that's for sure. All violinists that are currently uh, playing and the ones from the past, they're all special, they're all great artists and, uh, and we, are, we all have our different aspects. Now, for what concerns my performance of Fire and Blood, I can say that this piece is, is really almost like it was composed for me. Michael Doherty, the composer, did not know me when he wrote this piece at all, but I think that uh, when he saw me play it, he could understand that I really feel so strongly about this piece and when I play, uh, every night I play this, this concerto, I put my gut and my guts and everything in this, in this piece and in my performance and I give it all. I don't reserve myself for another day or another performance or another anything. I just give it all and my pain, my, my experience, my young experience in life, yes, but you know, the passion as a young person is always, uh, is always bigger and, and, and more drama and everything and this is needed in this piece. And so, and the fact that also it, it really relates to, uh, to my, both my cultures, the Latino culture and the North American one, I really think it, it tells a lot uh, about who I am. And, well, I, I feel every time I play this piece, it's a special event. So I hope it's the same for the public, but I, I do uh, feel that they realize that something is happening while I play this piece. And this, this is a really an exchange between the public and myself. I would say that uh, racism is the thing that uh, disturbs me most. Of course, there's poverty, there's the wars, the many, many problems in uh, this world and the society. but. Uh, it is a, a big problem to have those differences made between the color of the skin or uh, to have a difference between a religion and another and the, the background, the cultural background and so on. And so I, I would very much like, I like this idea in America that everybody starts with a, fr a fresh start, has the same chance, but it's not really true. Uh, sometimes, I mean, it's, it's a great idea on paper but uh, to make it happen and to make it really something um, that is protected all over the world, I think we still have a long way to go.